Well hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this colour and chat is actually a day late for various reasons I'm not going to go into but hey. Um, but we're here, we're going to be continuing with doing Time Flight from the Doctor Who colouring book. This is going to take us a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've been uh, looking up the colours for the Doctor's jacket and his uh, jumper. Um, and stuff like that and I'm going to keep the picture up because I'm going to need it. Oh my internet's gone off. Um, no, nope, I don't want that. Hang on. So yeah, so we are going to continue colouring this. We'll do a bit more on this uh, and then we'll do him and then I might just do the sky just so that we're... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Just so that we're not... There we are. So it's sort of an orangey red trim. Definitely orange blue. Right, okay. That's fine. I can pick that up later. So we're going to carry on uh, with doing uh, Nyssa because I didn't quite, oops that's the wrong colour, that's for later, quite finish it off. So yeah, so yes, Monday was Paul's birthday. So that's part of why I didn't do it and then we all were feeling a bit down because of the never ending lockdown that we appear to be in that they're talking about making even worse. This whole thing about not being able to sell non-essential items in the supermarkets because they forced other, what they call non-essential retailers to close is ridiculous because they're counting clothing as non-essential. But if you've got kids, you need clothes. They grow out of clothes so quickly. It's like Jennifer's not even three and she's already like pretty much in the t three to four in tops, but particularly she is wearing three to four trousers as well. But to say that we can't buy anything like that until the end of January at the earliest is ridiculous because you need clothing. Now, yeah, I mean, I could go and order stuff from, like, other companies, but I like to, especially with Jennifer's clothing, I like to see what I'm getting. Um, so I'm just going to shade the skirt in with this because it is a skirt and she does wear a skirt and it's sort of this colour. But it's also got blue in it. So I've got a blue here, which is not a dark blue, it's just a, a pale. It's a nice blue actually. It's probably not dark enough really, but it's going to be pretty much covered with the purple in a minute, so. And I'll do the same with the, um, the neck area as well. So yeah, for them to say, yeah, you don't need to buy clothes. You know, when you've got a two, year, a three year old, you know, she's about to turn three at the end of the month, she's breaking out of her clothing. She, of course she needs clothes. I need clothes, but <laughs> you know, yeah, they, they're stopping non-essential stuff like that. Yet the nurseries are still open. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm grateful for that because I wouldn't be able to work if the nurseries weren't, weren't open because of um, Jennifer uh, wanting to sit on me all the time. I can't work if she's sitting on me, obviously. It would be impossible. Do you know what I mean? So that's part of the flower there. Let's try and make sure. And it's all, that's it, a bit more down there. Done. So I have actually ordered a copy of Time Flight and the one that follows it, which is The Ark of Infinity. I don't have those two. I do have some Peter Davison. I'm slowly, every now and again, I buy a, a Doctor Who DVD and it just depends what mood I'm in as to who it is. Next one I might get is to be John Pertwee's Spearhead from Space because I love that story. It's his first story. And John Pertwee, other than Davis and Tennant, is my favourite Doctors. So I say Tennant is my favourite of the new Doctors. And um, Peter Davison was my Doctor growing up, but my favourite overall would be Pertwee. I just love John Pertwee. He, he was fabulous. There we go. And we'll do the same up here with her her bow, although I'll do that and this weird bit here. And we'll do 
do this bit. We're just going to do it purple for now and then I'm going to go over it with the blue in places. And then... I'm not sure why she's sort of got a scarf. Uh, Tegan sort of had a scarf when she had her jacket over the top. But anyway, I'm just uh, going to make it as similar as the skirt as I can so it actually looks right. I'll just do her trim in, in black, which it wouldn't have been, but it would do. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting time flight. I, I can watch that up here. I can watch most things up here because even the DVDs, I've got the Blu-ray ones, have brilliantly, brilliantly for me, have um, a DVD version of the film as well. So that's cool. So I can uh, watch it up here if I so wish. I'm just going to put a little bit of point on this. So yeah, I had today off. Tuesday, you'll see in this Wednesday, I had Tuesday off to do a bit of eBay and I managed to photograph a load of items and I managed to get five listings and that's all done. So tomorrow all I've got to do is put some photographs on and fill it in and that doesn't take long. Um, and then tomorrow night I can do whatever I want to, I might do a bit more. Um, I'm I'm leaving the project, secret project, until I can uh, get my eBay up and running properly again. But to be fair, I done really well today. I got five listings up, and on top of the five listings I managed to get up, I also managed to um, do all my accounts, which I needed to get done. So I'm pleased with that. Got my accounts done. Excuse me, Brown. Bit of a belch going on there. Got all my accounts done. And I uh, sorted out my bank and everything. Got everything sorted out and put in the right account. And oh, I hadn't done my account since like December the 12th. So, yeah. So, now, this was sort of a yellowy cream. So, I haven't really got a yellowy cream. So, I'm using like mocha which is the nearest yellowy cream, although they could just put a layer of lemonade over it or light yellow over it, or what's this one? All the yellows are really too bright, gold, yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this. It's kind of like the beige yellowy color. It doesn't look too bad actually, quite pleased with that. That's, that's his arm there, but that's a very funny looking arm, <laughs> sorry. So it's just remembering what colours are what. So obviously his jacket's one colour. His jumper's a slight cream colour, so I've got a brown fog out for that because that's a very light brown colour. Very, very light colour. Ooh, I wonder what colour his buttons were. Oh, my flipping phone. I've just pulled it out of the charger. Oops. I might have put it back in a minute. Ah, I can't see the buttons on that one. I'm going to find another one. Um, which is stupid because I've actually taken photographs of his jacket. I shall have a look at it later because years ago when the Doctor Who um, exhibition was um, in Cardiff before it closed. They had, let me see if I can find it. There we go. All the costumes from the doctors there. So let me just say, go and find the pictures. Oh, I'll just uh, 
Let's see if I can search for it. Doctor Who. It'll either be under Doctor Who DR or here we are. I found them. Right, let's keep carrying on in Peter Davison's jacket. <laughs> Until I can I took tons of pictures at the Doctor Who exhibition. It was one of the best days and I wish I could have gone again before it closed. I think it's such a shame that it did close because it was a great thing for Cardiff to have. Oh no. Doctor Who experience. There's got to be one of their costumes. I know I put it up. What year was that? 2015. Go back there, I'll just look through it very quickly. While I'm colouring in his jacket. Doctor Who? Yeah. I'm going backwards. Why am I going backwards? Okay. So I want February. Oh, I gotta update this. Big time. Big time, big time, big time. Ah, uh, here's the doctor. Here we go. They they were sort of creamy. Oh, I know what colour they are, yeah. So, here is a photograph of, I took of the costume of the fifth doctor, which I can now use as a, a basis for my thing. I haven't done much colouring, done a lot of chatting and a lot of looking at my phone. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's... it's I'm looking forward to seeing Time Flight. It's not one of my favourites, but I'm just dying to see it. And like I said, I'd love it if they found in New Who the, um, the Concord that's buried, allegedly, under Heathrow Airport somewhere. One of the uh, runways. Or in that area. So I think that's so funny that that's uh, what it was. <laughs> um... Of course, uh, Concord was built in my hometown, Phil well, Bristol, it was built in Filton in Bristol, Anglo-French um, project. And there's one on display there, and you can go up inside it and go in the cockpit and everything, it's really cool. I haven't done it yet, but I really want to. Filton Aerospace Museum. Pockets, they have red trim as well. It's sort of orange. <laughs> it's sort of an orangey red. So, oh, I, I shouldn't worry about getting it bang on, but it's the sort of thing I kind of do. I like to go. It won't matter if I get a bit of this on the buttons because they're very similar. And I'm going to have to go over this colour anyway because it's so light. You can't really see it. So, of course, uh, Peter Davison was sort of a sandy, blondy colour. And both Nissa and Tegan were dark haired. Janet Fielding, somebody thankfully pointed it out. I had looked it up by then, but that's fine. Because I was obviously... So I'm going to do a reading wrap-up this month, because I've read so much already. Excuse me, that's my duvet, because I'm filming on the bed tonight. Because everybody's in bed, as usual. <laughs> it's so always at night I do this, so I'm just going to manage to get my eBay done during the day, so I haven't got to do that this evening as well. Well I did some of it obviously but I mean we all came up at half past eight. Well not Jennifer, she was already asleep in bed. But Paul and myself we came up at uh, half past eight ish. Um Paul's just tired I think. He's getting tired of this whole lockdown and I don't blame him. 
I don't mind the whole working from home thing and long may that continue but I do get the not being able to get frustrated not being able to go out and see friends family and visit places you know it's very difficult we all want to be safe and he's obviously he like the rest of us is scared he doesn't want to catch it and get ill I certainly don't so it's just a matter of plodding on and, and trying to be the best you can be in this situation it's not ideal but it is what it is we have to plod on and hope that they get the um the vaccine out to us really soon because it would be kind of nice to be have it and be feel a bit safer so It's a very boring colour, I'll admit. This is to colour him in, but people said thank you for, for colouring in the doctor. I've got a mark there, where's my. I put it back up, I'm sure I did. Yeah, I'm not with it today. <sighs> where is it? There it is. There's a mark on there, it's a bit of pencil. There we are, gone. Yeah. I'm not going to do too much Peter Davison because it's going to be very boring because his insides, his insides, not his insides, but the insides of his, his jumper's cream. So that's going to be very light colour. So we'll do that in the next part because this is going to be about four parts, I think, if you want to see it all. I'm certainly enjoying it, but I have got so many whips on the go and I just keep starting them. So after I've done this and while I am transferring the files and editing it together, ready to go up tomorrow, I'm actually going to try and finish at least or do a bit more on some of my whips it's ridiculous the amount of whips i've got on the go i bought the, one of the relax with arts i had three relax with art books in tesco on sunday i bought one i was really good because normally i'd buy them all but i didn't i bought one and i, I started picturing that because i wanted to i probably got about oh i got too many and obviously i'm not too worried about this one because this one i know i'm going to finish if not in the next episode, the one after it. I mean, we are only on the 12th of... Um, I'm filming this on the 12th of January. It's not like it's the, 13, the 29th. I was going to say 39th then. <laughs> it's not like it's the actual 29th of um, the month and it's... You know, we're all done with it. It's literally is. It is so early in the month still. Just feels like it's been a long month already it really does it's unreal how long this month has been and yet now his trousers were a different color and i'm going to do all down this green anyway so i'm not going to worry too much about that but his trousers were um which would be here were stripey but i'm not going to worry about that that's a pocket. So, but I've I've so far I've done well. I've I've been colouring in quite a few books I've not coloured in. My idea is that if I can, I'm hoping I get the, the um, colour in heaven one early this time. Sometimes you get it early and sometimes you don't. It really depends. And that really, it makes his arms extremely long. Um, and sometimes we don't, but I'm hoping, because I want to get one done in... As I buy a book, because I'm um, not buying as many, I would really like to try and colour them in as I get them. So that I'm not... adding any, or very few, to the actually unused shelves because I want to try and finish I want to try and clear as much of the unfinished the, the unstarted shelf as I can so I I want to clear that shelf I don't want anything on it or I want very little on it there's always going to be something on it because there's ones I've bought that are really complicated and I'm still not happy colouring in excuse me um there's quite a lot on this so it's going to take me a while to get it down so 
even if it goes into the whip pile, which I don't really want, at least it's not on that shelf, but we will be getting into um, whip finishing soon. I haven't uh, finished my one whip for this month, which was supposed to be the Johanna Basford calendar picture for January. I don't know why I bought a calendar, but in October I haven't even finished the first bleeding picture. Terrible. Now I will go over his jacket off camera to make sure it's nice and smooth looking because I need to be a lot closer to my face to get it smooth but uh, it's not too bad to get it all evened out. Because it's quite far down at the moment. But yeah, he's looking alright. I'll do his trim next. Yeah, I'll leave him for now and I'll do I'll do the jacket afterwards. I'm gonna grab I think carrot for the orange trim. Let me just uh I think there is one on his um jumper as well. Wrong pin. Um yeah. So that would be grey. That one is red. That one would be cream. See, they actually haven't got enough on his jumper, but uh, we'll do the best we can. <laughs> I am so anal when it comes to doing things like this. I want it to look as close to how it should, but uh, it's not gonna. I can change it actually. I'll show you. I think that's actually meant to be his trousers there, but until I've done the a fair bit of the uh, greenery, I'm not going to be able to tell. It's not as orange as it should be, I don't think, or as dark as it should be, but it's quite nice. It looks alright. I always go over it with another colour, can't I? It's definitely not red anyway. It might look red on camera, but it's not. It's orange. So, there's one stripe missing off of his jumper, according to my thing. But then, considering I know that her is right. So, he should have... An, another one here. So you should have a thin blue one and an orange one, a white one. Is that right? Yeah. So you should have a red one, a white one, an orange one and a blue one. And the orange one should be quite thick. Possibly not that thick. Where's my... He should have a, a dark blue at the bottom. So I might get another orange in a bit. And The top one is the red one, and then the rest of it's cream. Yeah, that's how it should be. <laughs> don't mess around with me, Doc. Okay, you don't mess around with me, Doctor. Do you know what? I missed the orange off one of his pockets. 
a stupid one. <laughs> I do apologise. We've hardly done anything again and we are near the end of 30 minutes. We're at 25 minutes. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of red over this orange just to give it, make it a bit darker. Ooh, perfect. That's it. That's what I want. And this is just Ladybug. I love these Black Widows. I've got to be honest, I do love my Prism colours. And I love my polychromos, but they're so expensive to replace that the Black Widows, which are much, much cheaper, are my go-tos. Oops. It's very hard to do this here. They are my go-to pencils at the moment because... They are just so nice to use and they're not over expensive. I really like them. They work well on most paper. There's a few papers I don't like them on. Um, but most papers they're pretty good on. We'll put this on here as well to make it that right the right orange. That's it. As you can tell, my ladybug is getting a little bit on the short side. It's getting too short to hold. I'll be putting it in an extender soon. I probably should have it in one now, really, but it's only for this little bit. Just to darken up this orange and make it more... Oops. I said it does need to be in it. I'll have to... I've got an extender in here, I think. I'm sure there was one in here. See, now I want one. I can't find it. When I don't want it, it's in my way. I mean I hold it quite far down the pencil it's just the way I think it's because I'm left handed but that looks better than it's easier to hold now as well it's sitting right in the grip perfect somebody says I talk quite fast I do apologize if I do I will try and slow down especially in the vlog I know I do because I talk for so long so as I was saying I'm going to try and do a reading wrap up because I've read so many books already this month I've read I think it's eight um I'm hoping I might actually um beat my oops it's too tight now I can't go off don't do it hang on there we go is it that way I can't get it out. There we are. Um, my reading target, which I've only got, I've only set it to uh, 75, just simply because it's very hard for me to complete reading any books, to be fair. Hang on, I need to open that up a bit more. That's it, put that in, that's it, and then slide that down, that's it. So my black one's getting quite, for this from the skin tones, it's called Midnight. I love this black, I use it a lot. I have got everything, I've got another set of each one except for the Monarchs. Um, so I will be getting those at some point. So I'm just going to do the trim on, on and these on Nissa. I've got an extender in, it just means I can hold it slightly higher. And I'd be able to without it. It's the same extender, just take them out. I've got about 10 or 20 of these, I'm not actually sure. Now, it wasn't actually this colour on it, on the thing. It was all burgundy, but it's just to give it a bit of difference. Make it look like it's... I always go back over it with the burgundy as well to make it uh, look a bit redder. Be their hair next. Oh, I'm dreading doing her their girl's hair. Tegan was more of a very dark brown and Nissa was more of a brownie red. So I mean Tegan did have a bit of red in her hair at times, so I just gotta remember it doesn't have to be exactly the way it was. It's my interpretation of of them. But Nissa, like I said, was my favourite character, so 
30 minutes, it starts another 10 minutes and then that'll be enough for tonight. Um, so the plan for the rest of the week is to, tomorrow night I'm just going to be uh, doing a bit of eBay, some drafting and stuff. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, getting my listings ready, putting in five live and relaxing, maybe having a good read. I've left my book downstairs, my Stephen King is downstairs. I won't be reading him when I finish this. I might do a bit more colouring, but with a different... Um... Obviously not this one, although I do need to tidy up the doctor's jacket. The, um... Oh. Yeah, I've got a couple I want to try and do a bit on. So I might do some of that. And again tomorrow, after I've done that. And then, um... Thursday, which would be normally... A filming night will now be uh, eBay night just because obviously it gives me an extra day to think of things to say and I ain't got much to say today really. Oh my mum makes me laugh. I get get messages from Richard and my brothers Richard and Chris in the middle of the night saying is mum and dad all right? We tried to ring them and we can't get hold of them. Are they all right? I'm like yeah they're fine. <sighs> I can't get hold of them. I'm trying to ring. I say look they're fine, don't worry. I'll see what's going on tomorrow when I get get up. Like, it was in the middle of the night, like, and I'm talking about three o'clock in the morning because they're in New Zealand. And, and I'm like, Mum, is your phone working? Your landline, right? She went, Yeah. I said, Oh, Richard and Chris are trying to call you and they're going to spare because they can't get hold of you. And I said, Oh, your dad accidentally unplugged the phone when he was doing something. I went, All right, okay. Chris was like, I was going to ring the Gwent if I hadn't heard. I was like, well, why are you worrying? You you, you know if there was a problem, I would tell you. <laughs> I get that you're worried. And that's fine, especially with everything that's going on. But, you know, if there was a problem, I would have told you. You know? I would have told you. So. Ah, dear, dear, dear. Well, yeah. That's that, though. But they're all right. They're all good. It's all good. They're fine. Yes, yeah, so they've plugged in their phone now and it's working. Honestly, I, they are terrible, my mum and dad, for stuff like that. Let's put a bit of different colour in. I'll use this colour finisher now. So, and then we'll put some red over it. Because this is a cinnamon, so it's a ready brown. And it might just need a bit of normal brown over it, actually, because it's quite similar to the colour. Just to darken it off in places. But, um, yeah. They are a bit of a nightmare with technology, my parents have got to be honest. They're not the brightest when it comes to it. Let's be honest, they'd still be living in the 60s if it was up to them. Of course I wouldn't be here then. Ah, there you go. Even I'm not that old. Yeah. I've enjoyed this. I'm enjoying doing this picture. I know I'm taking my time with it and it is taking a long time and that's why if you want me to colour something else, let me know. If you want me to finish this off, I'm quite happy to. Um... I do want to finish it. It's just I know there's a lot of greenery in the background that's going to take a long time to do. And I don't want you to get bored. Because, it, you know, I'm not that I get bored. I love watching colouring chats. I love hearing what people have got to say about what's going on. So, I mean, there have been a lot of fines in the UK of people breaking um, lockdown rules. I mean, I, I only go where I have to go. Um, I had to get diesel the other day, so I went to get diesel. I have to take, take Jennifer to nursery. Um, and come back. I have to go to the shops occasionally to get certain things. So, other than that, I don't go anywhere. I'm, I'm not interested in going anywhere at all. Um, not at all. I just don't want to know. I'd rather be at home safe. I'm quite happy. I like going out for a walk. And do you know what? There's plenty of places to walk near me. I can walk up along the canal. 
that's the main walk. I can walk down to the park and around the park and home again. And a bit of texture in her hair because her hair was really quite curly. There we go. I can't remember what colour her eyes were though, but I think I'm probably going to do them green. If I can find a green. There's a green, but it's very bright, so it'll only be a tiny little bit. There we go. There we go. Nitha. I'm going to start doing the um, the sky just because there's a lot of it, and I'm going to use quite a dark blue. It's actually called, I don't know what it's called, I think it's something galaxy, is it? It's um, Scorpion 17. It's, it's a nice blue. Um, just to finish off this colour and chat, and then next time we'll do Peter Davison's jumper and his his hair and his eyes. Um, but I'm just going to start the sky because skies take ages. It's just a nice blue, bright blue colour. And of course we've got to do Concord. Now, to be fair, Concord was pretty much white with red trim and the British Airways uh, logo. And I'll actually probably have to watch Time Flight to see exactly what colours they used back in the 80s so that it looks like it's early 80s as well, very early 80s. I think it was 83, something like that. Gosh. Peter Davidson was my first crush. I was 10 in 1984, so, you know, he just, just thought, oh, he's nice. You start looking at men and, and appreciating them. But then I was always into glamour as well. I was always into things like, and you can't see me, because this is the colour I'm doing in the sky. Um, doing it like this, if there's some white bits in it, it just looks like clouds. Um, I was always into, like, people were into, you know, track suits and stuff like that, and... I don't know, whatever the fashion was in the 80s, those mini skirts, rah-rah skirts. I was into high glamour like Dynasty, and I never watched Dynasty, but I just loved all that very glamorous Hollywood looks. You know, I guess that's why I got into the Hollywood, like the 50s and before the 50s, 30s and stuff. I love, I love, I love all that stuff. So... So yeah, tonight I'm going to be reading a little bit of my Jeannie Harlow book, I think. I'm also trying to read the um, Enid Blyton and Mallory Towers stories. I bought a box out of the, the, the Enid Blyton Mallory Towers for Jennifer, really. It is for Jennifer. And uh, But I want to read them because I read them when I was a kid. I read them when I was growing up. I love the Famous Five as well. And I love the Chronicles of Narnia. Although to me, I prefer the prequel to the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which is the magician's nephew. We did that in school. We read that in school in the first year of comp. Excuse me, having a little sniffle. But, yeah. I thought if I do a bit of the Sky now, then it's, it's done. And So yeah, bit of eBay tomorrow. And Thursday. Tomorrow's my normal project day, but I'll just be getting my draft sorted out. And then Friday night, Paul's Zoom in with his mate, so I shall come up when he does that, be about eight, nine ish. Bring up a maybe a can of cider, I don't know, maybe. And um do a, do some filming. I wanna film I still gotta film my uh, Arteza watercolours. I got my Mozart watercolours, the metallics to do. So I do want to do one of those, or at least start one of them, because I, 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 you know, I just haven't started them. So, yeah. I'm charging my batteries because they're <laughs> running out like there's no tomorrow. I don't even know what the time is. What time is it now? Oh, it's quarter past ten. So we will be finishing in a little bit. I might finish the sky off camera tonight. I might not. I might just leave it till. I might do it tomorrow night. Because this, this is a colour and chat one. So it doesn't matter if I finish it on camera or not. Or I'll just leave it and do some more on camera. 
when I finish a section in the next video. So if I finish off Peter Davison and the Concord, before I start the leaves, I'll do that. So there's quite a lot of sky to do, so I'll just do some of that. But I am enjoying this. <laughs> There's actually some lovely pictures in here. In fact, they were filming um, Doctor Who in Barry the other day, either today or yesterday. And it's an episode with the Weeping Angels. Oh, I love the Weeping Angels. They are so scary. And people say they've overdone them, but I don't think they have yet. I think they've overdone the Daleks and the Cybermen. And I could have a good couple of seasons without seeing the, the Daleks and the Cybermen, to be fair. You know, you're supposed to keep the specialness of the, the Daleks and that, but they didn't, they're not, they're just overusing them. And I think that's a shame because when you use them properly, they truly can be terrifying. Now, Jodie Whittaker has not yet met the Weeping Angels. So that's going to be quite interesting to see how it, it pans out in Series 13, which is supposed to be on later this year. They are currently filming it. So I might even do a complete rewatch of all the episodes of Doctor Who I've got from episode the very very first episode starring William Hartnell up until well, that's almost the end of Tenant's Reign I think I might be missing a couple of episodes I'm not sure oh I've just switched the camera on by accident just by leaning on my phone, which is leaning on the camera. I, oh, hello, there's a picture of my... <laughs> okay, there's two very bad pictures on here. <laughs> I, I'll have to format that card in a bit. Um, so I'm going to photograph, start photographing my pictures as I finish them. So we've done 40 minutes. So I will call it a day there because I don't want this being too long. I know we haven't done much. We've only done the girl's hair and a bit of Peter Davison's jacket. It is taking And we did finish off Nissa's outfit as well. Apart from her little cameo brooch there, which I'll do in the next one. So that's how it's looking so far, guys. It is taking a long time to do because I want to do it properly. I hope you don't mind. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, just uh, leave me a comment down below. Like this video, share it and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I will see you in the next one when hopefully we will finish this off or get very close to. For instance, I might leave the sky in some of the greenery. Um, I'll just show you how I'm going to do it and then I'll finish that bit off camera. And so on. I've got to decide what to do with this bit down here because I'm not sure whether that's meant to be Peter Davison or a bit of a, a leaf. I think that's... Because he would have trousers on and there's no line where his trousers would be because his trousers were striped. But I, I could still do it as, as his trousers and just put some stripes in and make it look like it. Or I could just do it as greenery. Let me know what you think it should be. And I'll see you in the next video very, very soon, I promise. Bye, guys.